Welcome, my dear friends, to our second time of scripture reading for Holy Sunday, Easter Sunday, March 31st, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia, and these are the evening readings for the day of Easter, the day of Christ's resurrection. I'm reading from the Revised Common Lectionary uh, in its three-year plan to represent and present all of the scriptures to us in concert with the church year. Uh, the readings for this morning, the earlier ones, were for specifically year B. These readings that I'll read to you now would be the same in any of the three years. We have four readings, uh, an Old Testament reading, a reading from the Psalms, a New Testament reading, and a Gospel reading. We begin with Isaiah chapter 25, verses 6 to 9. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Psalm 114. When Israel, Israel went out from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled. Jordan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. What ails you, O sea, that you flee? O Jordan, that you turn back? O mountains, that you skip like rams, or hill, O hills like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. From Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 5, uh, verse 6 to 8. Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump? Cleanse out the old leaven that you may be a new lump as you really are unleavened. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed let us therefore celebrate the festival not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. From the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, verses 13 to 49, the good doctor writes, That very day two of them, disciples were going to a village named Emmaus about seven miles from Jerusalem and they were talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, what is this conversation that you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still looking sad. Then one of them, named Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, a man who was a mighty prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since these things happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb. They were at the tomb early in the morning. And when they did not find his body, they came back saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. 
Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but him they did not see. And Jesus said to them, O foolish ones and slow of heart to believe all the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. He acted as if he were going farther, but they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together, saying, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. They told what had happened on the road and how he, had, he was known to them by the breaking of the bread. And as they were talking about these things, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened and thought he, they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled and why do, you doubt, why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they were still disbelieving for joy and were marveling, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it before them. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending you the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in this city until you are clothed with power from on high. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God, and we praise you for its generous provision to us. Grant, merciful Father, through the power of your Holy Spirit, that these words may be written in our minds and on our hearts and in our very souls. Holy Spirit, teach us the meaning and truth of these words so that they can work in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray all this to your glory, in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and our soon returning King. Amen. Well, as always, friends, I commend you for spending time listening to God's Word, particularly on this Easter weekend. And I thank you for letting me be the one to provide it for you. It is truly a blessing for me. I've taken the references for these readings and placed them in the description portion of this video for you to look up and read again and contemplate and meditate on for yourselves, which I do pray you'll do. And I also pray that you'll be with me tomorrow when I return to the regular readings from the Revised Common Lectionary for each day of the week for the rest of year B. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.